Uh, hello everyone, uh, this is another Rocky tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use graphic uh, user interface in Abacus. So, uh, graphic user interface is uh, mostly used for um, uh, stress uh, plate concentration. And uh, we should uh, create such elements and then applying the load as we expect. So, let's suppose we have a small plate with a a central all and the size of this plate is 1000 millimeter height and 1400 millimeter uh, the length which is equal the weight w and the radius is 100 so we use this steel and this is still this steel has uh, uh, a yield strength of 235 megapascal and uh, if you is equal 350 megapascal uh, the the strain uh, the strain or elongation is approximately 0. Point, I can call the epsilon ip and uh, it's equal uh, 0. 0.18 to 21 so for for uh, um, for, for a good result, you can search the steel, which is a Chinese uh, construction material. You can check it and get the data there. Otherwise, this approximate can be okay. And 200 gigapascal millimodulus lost. So we jump to the Abacus software okay, and comes to the uh, plugin. So that's a GUI's course of plugin. So come to the Abacus and here it's called. GUI examples. So in the GUI example, you can uh, write the name. So let's see uh, plate one. The thickness is you gave the thickness 1400 here, and the height is 1000, and the radius is uh, 100 millimeters. Okay, and the program automatically create your uh, plate width. Now, next is defining the material. We can select the material called material one, and we define the modulus of elasticity, which is 200,000 megapascal, and it's equal 0 0.3. Posture ratio, and we also apply a plastic because we want to see the stress uh, strain concentration near to this uh, hole and also in the a boundary area so new plasticity and when plastic in the plastic you give 235 is equal to the yield zero and the second I create another one after I give 315 and it is equal to 0 0.18 person so now we have defined these two let me okay uh, next I should define a cross section here is the very uh, tricky part I should call plate. Uh, this is a solid element. It's it's considering a solid element. It's not a, a, a shell element. If you create a shell element, let's suppose that it's shell elements, and you give one millimeter thickness, and this material. Okay. Now I'm gonna assign, and when I sign, this material is not available. This section because it is in in the name. Come here in the name you see here it is shell element it is shell planer but in the section it is a solid element so you should define a solid element so I go to edit uh, I must delete it and I create it comes to the solid homogeneous and I call it plate so therefore we do need to uh, to use uh, in the solid elements we also can increase the thickness here so plenty stress strain thickness so it is one now you can in extend to five so let's suppose this five now it's finished and we're gonna assign to the our elements so it's here okay now you can see the thickness is 
changed but we cannot see here let me go to the assembly uh, I import the assembly and I'm going to view graphic option Sorry. Uh, view display assembly option and I'm gonna uh, render shell elements okay. now you can see the thickness of this element is giving so it's 5 milli uh, if you compare to uh, to the height and length it's very quite simple quite small now we finish in assembly we can go to the step so we considering to do a static analysis selecting general static so no, okay we can activate the nonlinear geometry because we have defined the nonlinear behavior of uh, materials and here is the incrementation we want 100 and 0 0.01 so the loading should be a very <coughs> the increment of the loading should be very small period of time and it's okay and uh, the maximum can be 0 0.5 so I can give it 500 steps okay now uh, next I'm gonna go to in uh, interaction so interaction don't have anything to do I'm gonna go loading and the first we want to restrain this area and this area should be uh, loading side it's in a compound recondition and selecting these edges <coughs> uh, so I wanna it's a 2d plate so I'm gonna automatically restrain all the uh, this area <coughs> and now uh, we can apply a load we can apply a load here it's concentrated load or called shell edge load let's suppose that we want to apply the shell load so we select this area because it's not shell it doesn't work for the shell elements uh, we can using uh, line, line load now you can select the line load in the line load it take entire one this also not available it works uh, we can uh, use concentrated load, but that should apply in the just in the uh, points. So we're gonna select the pressure. Let's see, pressure is working. So we can put in a 3D and applying the pressure. So the pressure here is megapascal. So the megapascal is uh, newton per millimeter per uh, newton per square millimeter. So we're gonna give in a positive direction. Let's suppose that we want to uh, apply uh, 100 megapascal, 10 megapascal. So 10 megapascal is quite large. This is in a positive direction and we wanna change it to negative direction, negative direction like this and we go to the mesh in the meshing we come to the part uh, it was I didn't you select this one and come and now I want to select the mesh control is a free mesh and we also can consider in quad and uh, middle axis should be activate and uh, mesh sizes let's suppose as much as you make it smaller so the uh, stress uh, string concentration will be very very clear and very accurate and okay okay and then go to mesh now you can see the meshing is quite well uh, next we go to job and create a job and call it plate analysis. So let's select the end, was OK, and submit it. So it take a while. We can go to a monitor. 
uh, it takes a while to complete the analysis, some error. Uh, it's called the full two dimensional model if a non united thickness is specified for two dimensional solid elements and these elements are involved in an interaction such as contact the same thickness should be specified. So now the analysis is completed and we go, go back to here, go to result and we want to see the result. Now here is the result. Uh, the stress concentration is uh, totally logical. So this area has large uh, length so the stress is least in the blue color and this area is the short which which will uh, affect or uh, yield so now the maximum is 200 less than 26 so I'm gonna, uh, go to here uh, display display here and I'm going to select and rendering and also we're gonna common and we to free edges and let's scale it to five to see a little the stress strain and one more thing and when it comes to the um, viewport and addition and I come to legend and you know fixed now it is very small because 10 megapascal is least so we can make it uh, 10 times more or 15 times more i'm going to back to the state uh, to the load in the load i want to make it uh, times 15. so 15 times is 150 megapascal so now we go back to here and submit the analysis again now the analysis uh, completed again and we want to check it the response so now here is the stress strain is changed uh, some effect is happening in this year and it is 335 which is uh, already yield so we can come to the uh, ODB uh, time history output yeah, time history output and here select integration point which the program will integrate it uh, from uh, from an element just one single point. you can come to the select plastic strain you can PE1 or P2 or let's see maximum principle and comes to the stress strain you can come to take the um, one missy stress or you can uh, select uh, max, max in principle max in plane principle so we select these two and uh, select one element so I want to first select this one which is uh, the uh, whole area and now I can save it this one okay uh, save it this one So let's see this two is uh, plant and we can see the stress strain curve and I'm gonna create a operation selecting combine here and giving the PE which is plastic strain in the X direction and strain in the in the Y direction. So now save it called uh, stress uh, stress strain uh, which is called uh, near to hold near to hold okay and I'm gonna save it so I already saved here yeah, and I'm gonna plot it uh, here it is this is the stress strain near near to the this area and I wanna take or pick up one from here uh, again we go to ODB and select the same things but this time is going to be from this area or from the boundary. I'm going to plot it this one and here is that curve so I'm going to back to here yeah, 
these two and the previous one was these two I'm going to delight them and these two I'm going to create another ODB uh, operator combine and this is PE and this C and I'm going to save it this is uh, far from uh, hole so stress strain far from hole ok now we want to print these two curves together so so the first curve is inside the curve if I go to uh, change the, this one list uh, the color of this this be a symbol you can see here and let's make it a little larger larger and uh, color should be okay this one and the symbol should be this one so now you can see we have two curves one is uh, if I go to create one more let's create here create one viewport and I can select here and this one be here now the first one is this one is the near to O and this one is too far away so we can analyze the stress is uh, usually concentrated in this area if in the same location you can consider this area is also less than this area because the length of this uh, distance is, is, is short so as much as this length is quite long and it is taking least stress so like this you can uh, conduct uh, any stress stream concentration uh, analysis so this is the end of the tutorial if you uh,